This is Floss TV Africa, where big stories live. Welcome to Tea Time, where we bring you the biggest stories and very interesting personalities in the world of entertainment. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got my co-anchors with me, Nimi Dekombi and Ife Oluwa Oshuke. What's up, what up? guys? No gang gang, don't worry. We're yeah. safe. You have repented. <laughs> the demon has departed from you. Yeah. Ah. Gang gang is not a demon. Demon <laughs> too. Everything now is... It's demon. I've to mm. be the demon. Okay? Yeah. And so... That you're not demonic. Ah, ah, do you I know what you two look like now? You know what children are so very strong. I was like, I don't know, but, but let me good? just move on. Been? It's been slow. I don't know. January is really slow, yeah. and Dead the whole December, day is really on, slow. But it's okay. It's telling on everybody. <laughs> no, 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 not that, not that. No, I'm good. I'm good. You're All good, right. huh? Moving on. We're <laughs> way. Rob into your anointing. Kardashian is seeking primary custody of his daughter as he alleges that Black China is a danger to her. He says Black China is living wild and dangerous, even in front of her kids. He now wants her parenting time reduced to just weekend days with a nanny present. Rob filed. New New legal documents claiming his baby mama is out of control and that people close to the situation can back it up. According to the documents, China regularly parties hard in her house with dream presents and invites strangers to join her. She's also accused of chasing people with knives, snorting cocaine, and making violent threats. I'm Why not, you pull laughing I'm not now? That's a no, 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 it's not, that's not even the funny part because uh, when I was reading this story, mm. I saw the part where. The guy said that anytime he picks up his daughter, mm -hmm. she is no, always doing it. naked twerking oh. and um, Jesus imitating too. sexual positions. Wow. And she claims that her mom taught her. So I'm wondering, like, are you teaching a three-year-old how to be a stripper old. already? Hmm. She's just three. Do you understand? Like, I really didn't get that part. I don't know the what the are And then they said she downs a full bottle of Hennessy. Like, she China. She said she spent six hundred dollars on our coffee. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> She only drew it again, she <laughs> only. Yeah. Okay, okay. Mm. I don't know what the Kardashians are doing because I know that the Kardashians, one, one thing that has been like their selling point has been the fact that they are like a huge family mm. and they believe so much in like the values of family and all of that. But it feels like a similar you know, living dream with Black China, knowing how troubled Black China is because if you look at the relationship between Black China and, and her mom, mom they have a lot it's, it's of not like issues. they can just up and go and pick the child and you yeah know, I understand because it, it is be a child legal. but now that they have like real reasons because mm. this is very very disturbing because Chloe was also saying Chloe Kardashian she was saying mm. that whenever they bring dream you know that you know, um, Dream, True, and the other children, they are still little, they are like the same age. I think that she noticed that she's very, very violent. She's mm. getting violent. Like, if you're noticing all these things, shouldn't that like, you guys mm. know that you guys are like a tight unit. You guys take pictures together. You guys boast that you're this huge family, the Kardashian Jenner clan. Mm. You people should include this girl into your and and take her away from this kind of no, but you know you can't just do that, especially yeah, when it's earlier. a mother. I'm saying that now they have grounds. And when it's also yeah, now they, they have, have grounds. Gr but that's if you yes. can prove this. Do you mm -hmm. understand? If they can't prove this, they don't have anything against China. And assuming it was just a regular girl, look at what happened when Nipsey died and they wanted to yeah. take away yeah. um, the, the daughter, daughter, um, daughter. Amani or what's her name, Imani from um, Lauren London. Yeah. They were able to prove that the mother was unfit to take care of her. But in this yeah. case, how do they you? Have that. That. Do you understand? And then mm. all of this is just okay. He said, she said. Yeah, I think the process if, has if started. If what he said is true, then I'm really, really worried for her, and really? I hope she doesn't turn out to be another Black China because Black oh, wow. China grew up. Yeah. Because Black China, China grew, grew up in a troubled home. home. She had uh, Tony. So. Time, their relationship is so complicated that sometimes you're watching and you're like, are these people, did this woman give birth to this girl? Is this girl, is this woman, this, uh, this girl's mother? They, they have I, a I very what complicated you're saying, relationship. But what I'm saying now is Rob is taking the necessary step. steps. You cannot yeah. say, yes, yes. why is he not, why is he not? Because it's not a lawless, yeah. sorry, like Nigeria, yeah, where you just go place. and say, yeah. because um, I have more money than China, I can just yeah. take my no, China. No, apart from I have more money than China, China too is to good. Do you understand? She's also she's good financially. To, no, of course, you can't uh, compare. That's what I'm saying. Well, I'm just saying yeah. that she's good. Like, you can't just compare to, okay, I, you can say for um, Nipsey Osso's daughter, mm -hmm. the woman in question is a nobody. We didn't know anything about her. But China, she has a voice. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? She has a fan base. Has a like, if they try all of that, her fan base will come for the 
Kardashians, they'll post different things. You yeah. see a lot of controversies online. So it's not like it's just a regular person. So yeah. it's a kind of mm. dicey situation out here. I hope that whatever it is that they resolve it to be in the best interest of Dream because I'm not actually concerned about the adults involved in this story. I'm just concerned about One the little child. girl who is already seeing all of this, exposed to all of this. I mean, you said the I girl is the there thing. when she has parties with different Even kinds of people. I'm like. worried that would she be like sexually molested by some of these people because you don't know who these people are in these parties. So I'm worried about Dream, but I hope that whatever it is that they resolve, she's in a better place and she's in a better environment. Then I, I think China needs so to get too. help as well. Well, moving on from Black China, Lil Wayne might be the next American celebrity to visit Nigeria, and he says he would love to. He made this note in a recent interview where he was asked um, the one place he would love to visit, and he said, I have never been to Nigeria, and that is the place that I would love to go. I've never been to Egypt as well. I heard Nigeria is lit. I had a whole different idea of the place. Mm. Ah, go Kadi. Mm. <laughs> go Kadi. Go Kadi. Yeah, so I think mm -hmm. Kadi is really putting us on the map, and I'm really yeah. liking that. Mm -hmm. But do you know, sometimes I just wish I could tap into the brains of these people and say, when they say, "Oh, I had a different perception about Nigeria," what were you guys thinking that it's a jungle uh, out here? Or what? Of course, now, from what it is that they see on that jungle, mm -hmm. that see it. It's what other? I don't understand. Is it on that Let's go on that for Nigeria? No, no, no. Like I you said, like Nigeria. The, world. No, like the image that they have of Africa. It's like most Nigeria of the time, no, no, no. What they Nigeria see, world. whatever, most of the places that they explore. Don't try to defend. Just say it's the sleep of the dog. <laughs> 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 I'm serious. Okay. Anyways, let's, let's oh, Nigeria wild. Are we on Nigeria wild? <laughs> 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 no. I'm just kidding. You don't understand my point. So let's just move on. Yeah. Let's just move on. That is a wild, wild west. No, 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 no. I need to get your points. You know, most of the time, most people think that when white people say that, oh, you guys are living in huts, you guys are living in, you guys have lions at the back of your, you guys have lions at the back of your house, all that kind of stuff. It's because of the things that they watch on their, on their, no, not Joe, Jesus Christ, CNN, or CNN. But you know what? I think Americans are the best, um, brand managers because if you look at how they project their image yeah, out there yeah. there are slums in america there are ghettos but you never see any of that but in nigeria when you want to show some part of like there's no way you're not show a slum like we don't all live well, in a slum let's not now, go so too deep Lewin, please come to nigeria Just Kadi come B, thank you case closed <laughs> we have a guest who i'll be introducing after this break but before that um you need to check this cute tissue box out this is the second time i'm talking about it um it's made by the stitch layer and because in 2020 like i said you cannot afford to be boring or looking anyhow you have to add a touch of Any african illness. you know to whatever you're doing so please um go to at the stitch layer on instagram to get yours today we'll be right back with our guests